Hi, my quarantine kids. Hi. I'm back. Today's video is going to be me talking about how I cleared up my acne scars. How exciting. Because it's very talked about. Everybody always asks me. Also, while I'm doing it, I'm going to do like a cute little look because I've noticed that my talking videos don't get, you know, a lot of views. So I figured you guys are bored and I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to watch and listen to me talk uh, just by staring at me. I'd want some action. I'd want some spice. So I'm going to sprinkle a little spice on it. And it's going to taste so good that you're going to be like, I love her. Do you know what I mean? I did some research, girlies, and I wanted to make sure that everything I say, you know, is backed behind. It's backed up with actual facts because usually when I go on rants about acne, I kind of just... go off of memory and sometimes I don't know the actual facts so I have my little notepad right here and I wrote down all my notes about how I got rid of my acne scars or you know in the process of getting rid of them so that you could take something out of this video and run with it. I know what I'm doing today. I'll sh put up the picture right here. I'm gonna do this. I've seen this girl on TikTok a lot and she's amazing. Like her looks are so like they're so effort effortless and so like dainty. I'm not gonna do it blue. I'm gonna do it green. Like mint. You know? Green. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go that low underneath. I'm probably just gonna do like the rhinestones up top, the little like smoky wing, um, like a darker green. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Just, let's just be creative. Let's yeah. get into it. I'm gonna just do my base right now. I still use my ordinary serum foundation. So this is my light one, but I also have a darker one. This is in the shade 2.1P. A dollop like that in here. Like that. Then I just mix it with my lighter one. A little bit less of the lighter shade. And uh, Whoa, that's way too much. Oh my gosh. It's okay. Guys, you know, we always make it work over here. We always make it work. Just gotta blend. You know, the key of makeup is blending. I'm sure you've heard that before, and if you haven't, then that's the secret. Eyeshadow, foundation, concealer, contour, blush, highlight. Everything, if it's not blended, then it's gonna look like, you know, you were a little, a little out of place. But I promise you, blending's the key. All right, so let's begin. Now that everything is blended, as I'm baking, I'm gonna talk about the first thing that's helped me get rid of my acne scars. So there's actually multiple things. Everything combined will just improve your skin. You know what I mean by that? It's gonna be a mixture of things and patience is key. So the first thing that I wrote down was exfoliation. Everybody, male or female, non-binary, everybody should be exfoliating because it takes off that dead layer of skin. I feel like if you're not exfoliating, are you okay? Basically, it's just gonna like take off the outermost layer of your skin, the dead skin. And that's gonna help with, you know, smoother surface. It's gonna help with look. 
of your skin. The dullness. It's going to help with texture. Of course, the reason why we're here today is it does over time help with acne scars. But it's not going to cure. Like exfoliating, you know, every week isn't going to cure your acne scars. It's not going to permanently get rid of them. It's just going to help and it's going to help a little bit, you know? So when you're looking for exfoliators, you're going to want to look for a gentle exfoliator because most exfoliators are super gritty and actually really bad for your skin, surprisingly. You would think that ex all exfoliators are good for your skin because exfoliating is good, but no. So the catch is that a lot of these exfoliators, um, the grittiness, like you know, like that feeling, it actually creates micro tears in your skin and that over time will hurt your skin and like break the good barriers that you don't want it and it's gonna cause you know more harm in the future so we don't want that we want gentle exfoliators we want exfoliators that don't have legit sand and like glass in them which some of them do surprisingly i know you guys are probably like are you serious like yeah bro that kylie jenner one i wouldn't recommend that to a serial killer that's probably how bad it is actually yes i would recommend it to a serial killer but you know what i mean so usually i exfoliate or you're technically supposed to exfoliate three to four times a week now it could be less it you just have to see how your skin reacts. Like if you have really sensitive skin, you probably want to do less. You don't want to exfoliate too much because that'll also harm your skin as well because it's going to irritate it. I've talked about this, I've shown it so many times how I exfoliate and I've, you know, created such a preference and I've become so picky with my skin is I don't actually like any exfoliators. Even though you can find good ones, you really can. But personally, like, I don't like them. I'm going with the Morphe 35B palette and I'm gonna dip into this color, this green. It's kind of like a blue-green. Like, it has blue undertones, I'd say. But what I do is I use baby washcloths. I know. Who would ever thought that? My amazing facialist a while ago, she introduced me to baby washcloths like years ago. And ever since then, I cannot go back to regular exfoliators because I've noticed such a difference in the look and the feel and just overall wellness of my skin. And I genuinely won't go back. So baby exfoliators are, I've talked about them before, but they're of course so gentle to the skin because you use them on legit babies baby skin you're not going to use like an actual exfoliator you're not going to use a regular washcloth to clean them because their skin is so gentle and we have to treat our faces like that you know what i mean like why wouldn't we use that on our faces because our skin is so delicate exfoliation is something even if you don't have acne you know what I mean like it's just something to just do to improve your overall skin's look and feel my camera of course stopped recording so I don't know where I left off I have some gold oh I didn't do the wing we have to do the wing first. Oh my gosh. So while I do the wing, then I'll talk about the next thing that can help improve your acne scars, guys. So for the wing, I'm gonna use a darker green, like a hunter green from this Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette trickery this is like a shimmery green but it's okay because it has more of a blue undertone you know and i don't mind it if it's shimmery let's go to acne surgeries 
So I don't mean actual surgeries. Um, basically my dermatologist calls it that because what they do is two procedures. They do microdermabrasions and chemical peels. I swear by these two things. Like I remember going to so many dermatologists that never helped me and I finally go to one that was recommended and just like the change of attitude she has towards her patients is like amazing. She actually cares about them and there they have you know these acne surgeries and I was like oh what is that? So she recommended them of course because people with acne go and it helps improve their skin over time so i did that for a really long time i did that for i did it for years i don't even know how long why do i want to say like four years maybe even more i don't even know just like see long to count i guess we'll just we'll just put it that way this doesn't even look green it looks black Microdermabrasions are a treatment that gently exfoliates your skin um, by using like a mildly abrasive equipment tool. So it's basically like this like, I don't even know what to describe it, like a, not a gun, but like it's like a, a suction thing. It was like this little suction thingy, but had um, like a sandy texture to it. It had like a greediness texture that exfoliated your skin. Um, and there's different heads to it so you can get it like really mild or really strong. And that over time will help improve the look of your skin and your acne scars. But microdermabrasions are stronger than doing exfoliation at home because you're using an actual machine. I would go and do these acne surgeries one, uh, twice a month, but spread out, you know what I mean? Because you have to let your skin heal. So chemical peels um, is a treatment used to improve the texture of your skin and it's intended to remove the outermost layer of your skin. But there's also different types of peels that you can get. So you don't have to like get those crazy peels that make you look like a snake. You can just do um, like a lighter peel or something. You know, there's like different percentage of, what is it called? Like there's like a, of chemical, whatever. You know what I mean? These acne surgeries were at my dermatologist. I went for years, twice a month and it was covered by my insur insurance but still pretty pricey i'm not gonna lie because it is like a surgery like it, it it's not like you're going under or anything it's just like just think of like a spa but not as like relaxing my scars have improved drastically and um even the indentation of my scars, like since I had cystic acne, chemical peels and microdermabrasions help with the really deep scars because exfoliation isn't really going to get in there like how these machines and how these like, how this equipment can. Let's get our rhinestones and just start placing them on our eyeballs. So these are from Amazon. My friend recommended them because I saw her with like the cutest rhinestones and I was like, oh my god, I need those. And they're amazing. They come in different sizes. So you can go really, really, really tiny or you can go really, really chunky. Not really, really chunky, but like, you see? And like, small. I'm going to do different sizes, but I'm not going to go too big. That's what I'm going to do.
The eyes came out so pretty. So I just finished, um, put some mascara on. I cut up lashes and only put them on the outer corner. Um, smoked some green underneath. I'm going to finish this up with the face and talk about our last thing. Another thing that's helped me get rid of my scars is serums, actually. So I never used to use serums at all. I kind of just got into them. The way that I got into them was from The Ordinary because their serums have drastically helped not only my active pimples but my scarring. The one that's helped my scarring is the Alpha Arbutin. So I wrote down exactly what it does. It targets uneven skin tone and dark spots and reduces the look of spots and hyperpigmentation. So every time somebody asks me like how I got rid or like lessened, you know, my acne scars, I always recommend that. Guys, don't kill me, my camera is dead and I don't have an extra charger, so I'm just gonna quickly end this video on my phone, I'm sorry. I always recommend that serum. I also use, like I've said in other videos, niacinamide plus zinc. The, um, the ordinary those two are my favorite niacinamide plus zinc that one i think just targets active pimples so it's you know great for acne but not for scarring the alpha arbutin is the best um that has definitely helped me so much in the long run also i wrote down retinol serums those are amazing and vitamin c serums vitamin c helps brighten up the skin and will help brighten up your scarring whereas retinol is it's a vitamin a so it reduces fine lines and wrinkles while targeting and increasing collagen so it helps with wrinkles and your scarring this is a mixture of everything that has cleared up my acne and my um, acne scars so it's not one thing it's everything i hope you know you took something out of this and i hope you found a product or found something that you weren't doing and you want to explore that's great please do your research like look up reviews or like watch tons of youtube videos on products because you know there's a lot of harsh products that can ultimately hurt your skin and we don't want that like as I was saying very early in the video um, exfoliators look up exfoliators that are you know dermatologist approved but not only that um, good re great reviews even get your dermatologist's opinion because that's actually really important. I always do that. Let's do the lip. This is my favorite lip liner, NYX Suede Matte Lip in Sandstorm. It's like the perfect shade for when you're tan and when you're not tan. So like every season and I always overline Be patient with your skin because it's always trial and error and it takes years to improve so be patient and just know that you are beautiful no matter what the hell you look like and no matter what the hell is on your skin just like that and I'm gonna put on a gloss and we will conclude this video. It's the Lime Crime Wet Cherry. It's so cute. It has like glitter in it. Really iridescent, so pretty. And it'll look so cool with this look. Mmm, smells good, I didn't notice it. That's all I got. For you today please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it 
you have any questions don't hesitate to dm me on my personal instagram i always answer i literally answer everybody or just comment below thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video whatever that may be love you